Wait, did I film an intro for this? This is Editing Edna. Um, I realized that I never actually filmed an intro when I first started this project. So here's a brief description. Playground is like a student club run event uh, on my school in like the theater department. So every year there will be like uh, art directors that will have like a theme for the show. And then usually it's like a student run club. So a lot of times like student can be playwrights, directors, uh, designers, whatever. So it's like a, everything it is made by students. So this year, um, a friend of mine who had projects in the past, um, I saw that she had like a posting for, God, the lightning's bad. Anyway, she had a posting for um, her show, which is called Revamped. As a props maker, I saw that she had like a posting on her Instagram looking for uh, a set in props designer. For one of the crucial things that she told me about when I first reached out to her, was that she wanted there to be kind of like a Squid Game-esque fight scene in the end where uh, the actors would just like play with fake blood and they'll be like, they have a, have some kind of thing in their hand that they'll squeeze and it'll explode and there'll be blood everywhere. And it's the first time um, I made something like that. So this is me just capturing the process of it all. And this is the first uh, prototype or like the first blood pouch drafting that I had. So yeah, at first I made it like a little square, kind of like, just like, yeah. So it's like, doesn't have to be super realistic, uh, squeeze motion, pouch squirts, works but need to test with different consistencies. Wow, you might look at that and think, wow, that's really cool, how does she do that? Well... Hi everybody, so this will probably be the last me talking vlog for um for this video because tomorrow is my official show date and we are filming tomorrow but this will be the last time making blood bags i technically only really really need to make three but i also can't guarantee if they will pop during the night if they will get leaky whatever whatever but i have found a good method to make them so here's me making them one, one last time officially oh my babies but yeah uh enjoy Prep is Ziploc bags, preferably sandwich bags, the bigger ones that have the seal seal on top, because those are better to work with and they're bigger. Number two, you're going to need is wax paper. One can be cut into a long strip, the other can be a string. It's just more convenient that way. Third thing you need, I, this is how I did it, you can honestly do it with, do it with anything else, but, you know, it is what it is. I did it with edible fake blood, and I did, like, maybe this much of it, and I added water to it, and usually one cup... Usually two cups like this can fill like two bags. I usually do like one cup per bag-ish. So, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, and the next thing you need is your heat iron. This thing has been abused by me. It is what it is. Mm. The first thing you're going to do is actually seal your bag. So I have six cut up bags right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your long strip of wax paper. Very convenient. You're going to slip it like this in the middle. Do a little pat so you make sure it's like lined up. Sometimes it's not lined up when you fucking straighten it because it shifts around because plastic is more shimmy when it feels heat. Hold it at the top where the green part is so you don't burn your fingers. You get what I mean? You let it slant down and then you go across like so. And then you check it, let the heat disperse a little bit, and then you check your edge. You can do this a little bit and then be like, voila, a perfect sealed edge. And voila, your last one has been sealed, just like this. So what you're going to do now is I usually like to put a piece of cloth down so I don't get water everywhere. Look at how stained this poor towel is because of fake blood. You're going to push this to the side and right now you're going to make your uh, blood mixture. So grab your measuring cup, grab your fake blood. What I like to do is grab a spoon as well. So what you're going to do is, I usually do if I feel really doesn't matter. I'll pour like however much. Oh, that went everywhere. Just add your water. I usually have to do it like this, mix the mixture first so that it like goes together and then I usually add more water after. Mmm, yummy. What you're going to do now is grab one of your bags like so, you're going to open it, and then you're going to pour your mixture in. <clears throat> Just like this. You can do a little more, like so. Just let the air out as much as possible. You're gonna do a fold here, like so. Grab your wax paper, like so. 
I'm gonna put it over this little part. It doesn't have to like fit perfectly because your straight lines gonna reach down anyways, so it doesn't matter. Straighten half of it first, like so, going across. Like so. And you're gonna grab our other half. Be careful, it's hot. Oh, oh, anyways. Oh, anyways. And we're gonna go across to the other half. Right off the edge. Wah. When you release it, you're gonna have a good straight edge here. So sometimes you do need to like fix it a little bit, especially if it's like a little too loose. But usually this method is a lot better than sealing it across. And this method, it's like usually doesn't leak as much, which is great. This is what we want. This can go a little deeper, but what I usually like to do is like to trim this part a little. I like to trim off the green tab part. So I actually have the more convenient, uh, more space to work with for myself. And I usually just go back in and I will just freaking seal it again. Again, you hold your thing like this, you grab a straight iron, you go down. Sometimes, I've also learned this thing the smart way. Just hold it with your towel so you don't burn your fingers. You just, you know, don't be an idiot like me. You go across like so. And after that, I hold it up black. Do not squeeze because if it's not sealed properly, you're just going to get blood all over your hands. It happened too many times. That's why this towel stayed. What I'm allowed to do is I like, trim the edges because I care about aesthetics here. Be careful not to trim your bags open because then you're just an idiot. What are you doing? Yay, I got my last one. And with that, we have two bags of three blood bags. And therefore, I am ready for tomorrow in case, like, two of them break. Official filming when the strobe and the blood happens. That'll be super cool. But yeah, please buy tickets to my show and B roll. I can be like casually going to my shower and stuff and I'll be like Whoop, look there's some fake blood here. If you look down a little, look there's some fake blood here. It's just it's just gonna haunt me forever. It is what it is. Oh also toes. Ooh. No content for free, bitch.